Hi, my name is Del Lucent. I'm a new assistant professor at Wilkes University and I'm interested in um, molecular biophysics and computational chemistry and specifically in the fields of enzyme design, protein folding, and uh, protein ligand interactions. And I've been here at Stanford for the last four weeks as an OpenMM visiting scholar. Um, while I've been here, my goal has been to implement something called the empirical valence bond method in OpenMM using the OpenMM Python API. Now, the motivation for doing this is basically to allow us to study chemical reactions using, purely using molecular dynamics. So, in general, when you want to do a simulation, um, you would consider there's different ways to treat things. You could think of it classically, where you treat each atom as a sphere, and each of these spheres has a bunch of properties, but nonetheless, all the parts inside the atom aren't treated. And that's typically what molecular dynamics does, and it allows you know things to move around very well, and you can understand and simulate how molecules move and and fold and you know go through all their internal motions and also how they interact with each other. But if you want to study the process of a chemical reaction, i.e. bond making or bond breaking, now you can't completely ignore the electrons anymore. So all the internal parts of the atoms actually matter. And the problem is, well, how can we actually simulate something like this using, you know, purely using our classical method, using molecular dynamics, but still account for the things that, you know, the electrons and the parts inside the atoms are doing during a chemical reaction. So the way, there's a number of different ways to do this, and my goal was to use what I said before, the empirical valence bond method, or EVB for short, to do this. So EVB basically allows you to do a bunch of quantum mechanics simulations, studying the chemical reaction in gas phase ahead of time. And then after that, you basically use these calculations to parameterize a specific force field, or rather to modify an existing force field that would allow you to study the process of bond making and breaking. So to do this, you basically have to study, use the force field for a product state, a reactant state, but you also have these things called resonance integrals or mixing terms. And they basically describe how much the product and reactant mix together quantum mechanically uh, when you're crossing an energy barrier. So you do these quantum mechanics simulations and afterwards you use these to inform your parameters and then you can basically do simulate a chemical reaction as a bunch of molecular dynamic simulations and kind of stitch them together and reweight them to get the free energy of activation of the chemical reaction back out of it. Uh, my goal specifically was to do this in OpenMM because OpenMM has a number of very interesting advantages. First of all, the Python API makes it actually very, very straightforward to implement things like free energy calculations and enhanced sampling. Also, OpenMM provides access, not just access, but relatively speedy access because of their GPU platform um, support. So they provide relatively speedy access for very advanced and expensive force fields, such as the amoeba polarizable force field. Uh, if my ultimate goal is to do, use this EVB method to study how enzymes work and to actually design enzymes, something like the amoeba force field is likely to be very useful. So using all of the pieces that exist already in OpenMM, I was you know, relatively, it was relatively straightforward to at least code up while I was here in the last four weeks, a prototype of, you know, an EVV implementation in OpenMM. But the advantage of actually using OpenMM and being here as a, a visiting scholar goes far beyond this. OpenMM has, does, well, SimTK in general, does a great job of creating a community where all, everyone's contribution, everyone interacts and everyone's scientific contributions are able to be uh, relative, hooked into each other in a relatively straightforward way. And I think that having this community-based environment is really, really useful. Plus, you know, it also doesn't hurt to be able to just walk right down the hall and talk to the developers here about, about how my code is working and what problems I might be having. And they really take the idea of helping their users very, very seriously. So it's been very beneficial. Um, my goals, ultimate goals after this, when I go back home to Wilkes to go back to the world of being a professor again. Um, I definitely will be continuing to develop this and continuing to, um, to make use of the connections that I've made while I've been here um, in taking these other, other people's codes and using them to enhance the methodology for EVB. Uh, the ultimate goal is to have a working package that anybody can use and allow them to study enzymes or study chemical reactions using OpenMM.